ロードするのかどの瞬間でも私は SS だからな So, we're just going to be continuing Gil's route from after the intro. Because I don't feel like going back and, and putting it into the beginning of this video. Today's a little bit of an off day for me. I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put Cuba Parasite in front of me and read a bunch of it. And hopefully, it does something to.、Uh, And hopefully, it gets rid of this mood for me. <laughs> Alright, so he, so Gil just made a flying car to go to Celestia, and I'm kind of curious on how that's going to play out with him being up there with all the gods. <laughs> and if Alan's even going to get there. All of this, so I can go where she is. I truly believe that we'll be reunited. Unless we do get the intro. Maybe I did rewind it back last time. Oh, hey, look, I rewound it back last time. <laughs> Looking for a lost parasite, I love. <clears throat> See, I thought the last section come what may. I thought the、um, come what may was the section that we were on, but no, apparently it's this. So there we go. I thought ahead for the future me. And Mars's rooster is going off again. Daz Divine Beast continues to bring me a list of. List after list of couples that need to be separated. Seeing this towering stack is utterly disheartening. There's no end. At first it was fine, but I'm starting to lose my cool over this and have some serious doubts. This may reduce arguments, but it won't help the poor marriage rates in the human realm at all. These days I'm constantly getting lists of couples that have co communication problems. If couples can't communicate proper, properly, they should try to hear each other out. There's no need for me to ruin things. I know, right? Like, what is Mars thinking? He just wants to, like, ruin the human population? It's strange to have these, the gods step in in a situation like this, but maybe those couples don't, don't want to break up. And yet, we gods are forcing them to separate because we want to avoid strife. Truly, the gods are quite arrogant. Yeah, so. Humans that don't get along, like, how's that going to affect the gods personally? They should just mind their own business. <laughs> I look at a name on the list and let out a shocked gasp. Who is it? It reads Galen Lovecraft. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, their, their relationship is having problems? Uh oh. This is Gil's brother. He was listed with a note a couple who suffers from misunderstandings due to bad communication separate them. It seems like Gil's brother still hasn't opened up to his fiance. So I don't think using the leaded arrow to break them up is the right choice. Well, at least she has common sense. After all, I know that Galen loves his fiance deeply. Breaking them up is nothing short of a cruel tragedy. If I went through with this, I feel like I would be turning my back on my role as Cupid. But then they remembered a book I read as part of the, a university assignment. There was a story about a fairy that brought ruin and heartache to couples by using a droplet of love without care. Right now, I feel exactly like that fairy. Except I'm no trickster fairy, I'm the god Cupid. I put my hand over my heart as I look over the list. If I had a fall in love arrow, I could turn the situation around. But I've only got my divine powers. I had originally planned on using the power of humans at Cupid Corp, but that's all in the past now. Still, it's not too late. I can return to the human realm and give Gala some advice. I can even guide them towards the sound of waiting bells. I still want to help my clients get married. I want to do that with my own skill and not with my arrows. It's like she had a little temper tantrum fit <laughs> and now she's coming back to her senses. <laughs> that's right, I can always go back. <laughs> I look at the list and felt a sharp ache in my chest. A couple who suffers from misunderstandings matches Gil and I. I know, right? <laughs> I keep telling others to open up and talk, but I don't have a leg to stand on. I left Gil without saying anything to him. I was enraged at the time, but I was also panicked from seeing Dad's Divine Beast. I came back without thinking things over. 
is she going I, I know it's probably not gonna happen but it'd be funny not funny if she <laughs> left and then Gil showed up and be like where's Cupid <laughs> not funny don't do that <laughs> I want to see Gil so badly right now I want to see him and talk with him but what if he lies to me again I remember Gil's face during our date and my stomach fills with a heavy sense of dread this was the first time I realized how much of a coward I had become since falling in love. People are often unable to speak their mind, that leads to misunderstandings which eventually leads to breakups. I told Galen what to do like I knew it all, but in the end I'm just as bad as he at communication. I'm so scared. I'm terrified that things will fail even if I try. What should I do? I crash down and press my chest against my knees. I've lost all the will to shoot the leaded arrow through the spring. I toss the list aside and lay down on the stone altar, just wanting to quit it all. Then someone entered the room. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel right now. I'm just like, I don't want to play a game. I don't want to read. I don't want to do anything. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> but I'm forcing myself to not go to sleep. <laughs> Cupid. No, go away. You're making it worse. Oh, great. Dad's here. <laughs> I thought about ignoring him, but then he would get all happy and start throwing punches. So I got up. Punches. How violent. <laughs> uh, yes, I did, but I don't think this couple should be broken up, Dad. What? Another what would you guys know about couples? You're not the goddess of love. <laughs> that would mean breaking up a couple with true potential and further reducing marriage rates. Are you sure about this? Well, then you should go be a farmer. You're talking as if this is a fire follow cultivation and not human lives. Burn too much and you'll lose precious crops, Dad. So It's not just a mistake you can just cover up with another bow and arrow. You're talking about humans. <laughs> Those poor people's emotions. Dad is so selfish and self-centered, I shifted away from him with a glare. That would be a waste, Father. You could potentially cost them years that they could have spent together. I know, and human lives are so short. Humans' lives are brief, yet they still try to do their best to nurture their understanding of love. I feel sorry for them when God's intervene and ruin the lives on a whim. Please, please, Dad, don't do that to them. You just go slap him around. You know, she shot her arrow at him to unite him with a vacuum for um, a month. You could, like, distract him again with another problem. I wouldn't be as heartless to say shoot him with one of your legend arrows to separate him from Venus, but um, maybe you can find something to uh, thwart his attention for a bit. <laughs> See, this is exactly why I hate the way gods handle things. Leave humanity's woes to humans. I know, right? But <laughs> Uh, in Shelby's last route, whenever he was forced to be in love with a vacuum, he realized just how much he doesn't like being controlled. Maybe that's what he needs in this one, too. That's simply not true. However, will that understand how I feel? <laughs> After living in the human realm, I met many wonderful people there. True, there's po problems aplenty. Strive certainly could happen, too. But humans live their lives with firm, earnest conviction. I was able to learn that by meeting and living with Gil. Gil was the first human I met after I first came to the human realm from Celestia. Because of my ability to trust in Gil, I grew to like humans. 
That's right, Gil was always so kind to me. Why can't I believe that's his true nature? I realize that and feel everything click into place. How could I have doubted Gil in the first place? Gil was always there to accept me as who I was. Who I am. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, okay, you don't need to supervise and wait for him to leave. <laughs> Grab Dad's my arm and drags me back to the matchmaking spring. Oh, dang, <laughs> he's using force. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I forgot to bring up my list. There's no bad ending here, so let's see, politely ask him to let go. Dad, let me go. Of course, now let me go. <laughs> no, I just want to talk. Please listen to me, Dad. Uh, am I in for another one of his long lectures? I remember being stuck in his rooms for hours on end. Honestly, it made me sick to stomach it. Yet at the same time, I'm getting more and more frustrated at Dad's f for refusing to listen to me. I felt like all of my anger was about to spill over. Okay, that might be where it picks up, so let's go and obey him. You're going to obey. Okay, obey him. I don't want to obey Father, but his grip is as strong as iron and I can't move. I'm scared. Mars is the god of war. He outranks me as a deity, too. Please, Gil, save me. <laughs> I call it desperately from the depths of my mind and close my eyes in the next instant. Uh-oh. We're gonna go back up. <laughs> Just in case. And then we're gonna smack his hand away, because that's the right answer. I shook his hand away on reflex. Ooh. I said no. <laughs> Dang. Nani? Uh oh. <laughs> His deep, booming voice caused me to have goosebumps. I thought I'd be terrified too. <laughs> this is bad. Really bad, Dad. Is seriously angry with me. We'll see how long my battery lasts. Probably not very long. So, I thought you were going to be a human being. Oh no. Dad seizes my arm. Being a god of war, his strength is immense. I can't resist as a wicker deity. I tried to pull away, but nothing changed. His grip was sure and fierce. Dad, wait, where are you taking me? Muron! Dokubo ni kimatiru. Oh my goodness. 50 years is like... It's like almost an entire human lifetime. 50 years? Considering how long Dad has existed, it must fear mere days to him. But in the human realm, 50 years is almost an eternity for them. If I'm locked up that long, I will ne never see Gil again. No, I refuse to be separated from Gil for so long. No, Gil! Oh my goodness. That's probably where in the next instant you hear this sound from. But I, I guess I could go and confirm just to make sure. Okay, looks like I matched up all of the choices perfectly to this sound effect happening uh, next in line. Dad quickly lets go of my arm and goes running towards the sound. I hastily follow after him. He just busts through Celestia. <laughs> like, what the heck? We arrive almost at the same time to see an explosion. We saw a car was stuck in the side of a tree that serves as a gateway to the human realm under the approval of Lord Jupiter. How did he even get to Celestia? Like, if you go into the sky, there's going to be sky and space. Maybe that her Cupid's arrow is what um, opened the gateway. <laughs> That's my guess, anyway. And in that car was guilt. <laughs> Oh, he did dress for the occasion. Look at him. <laughs> I remember he said that he dressed for the occasion last time, but all I remember is him in his work clothes. 
Oh, look, she's in her goddess outfit, too. <laughs> Gil, what do you do to Celestia? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't believe that he was here before me. I just stood there in shock, but there was no denying that he was there. Gil came for me. He really, truly came for me. And he was dressed in a suit. <laughs> oh, Gil. Kipto, you come. No, go away. <laughs> That stashes my arm as I ran in Gil's direction. I was yanked back. Ah! How dare you? <laughs> I know, go go to find Mars. <laughs> See me falling, get Gil left from the car, but Dad stood between us like a wall. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? That slams his mighty fist next to Gil's feet. Uh oh. At this rate, Gil's as good as dead. Dad's warlike temperament is back in full force. He truly is the god of war. I wonder if the mother's gonna step in and um, calm him down. He gets all mushy when it comes to Venus. <laughs> Dad's the kind of god who thinks humans owe us fealty. He would never stoop to talking with a human. Gil, no, if you stay here, my father will kill you. Run while you can. <laughs> A prize? He didn't say anything like that. I can sense Dad charging up his energy. Yet, in the face of the god of war, Gil isn't flinching. Wait, <laughs> わしはお前に弟さんと呼ばれる筋合いはない。だいたい何だお前はキューピットを傷つけた男なんだろう。娘はなよくお前の名前をつぶやいて泣いていたんだからな。ああ。いやいや、you <笑> Yeah, don't look so happy about that right now. He thinks he cheated on her. これはそんなことはしない。出会ってからずっと彼女一筋なんだから。口ではどの人間もそう言う。だが愛が続いた試しなどない。I think that's the real reason he's upset. <laughs> He's upset at Gil for breaking his daughter's heart, and so now he wants to break up all the humans. Gil takes a step forward and revealed the screen of his smartphone. That hateful article titled Lynette Mirror the Scam Artist is there shining bright on the screen. Lynette, you continue to explain the situation. The author of the article was a Cupid Corporation competitor. He got a tip from a colleague at Outroad who was helping him to figure out who wrote it and how they could stamp it out. The message Gil had received was from his colleague who got a copy prior to publication. Demo. Yo。I know that he lied to me previously, however, Gil wasn't lying now. Like a hot knife, his words cut to my core. He's so straightforward, and right now I could tell that Gil's telling the truth. I'm such a fool. Gil is too kind-hearted to write a smear article about me. Despite confirming our love for one another, I lost control of my emotions and forgot how to remain calm. My vision blurred with the tears while I nodded and replied to his words. Okay. Okay, Gil, I believe you. I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions about the article, Gil. He smiled bashfully and chanced another step closer to me. 
君とクラリスの会話を盗み聞きして進路を決めたことだってあった君に嬉しいって言われて勝手に付き合っているんだって早とちりしたこともあったそれに比べたら君のなんて可愛い早とちりだよそれにまた会えたから。だから一緒に帰ろう。リネット。Please let's。いかん !I'm like, you just, he just casually walks up to her, takes her hand, and Marsh is just sitting there. Oh my goodness. Looks like you tackled him. I reach out to take Gil's hand, but Dad blocks me once again. 人間の言うことを信じられるか人の心は移ろうものすぐに気持ちが変わるに決まっている絶対にないだって俺は失恋パラサイトなんだからだがお前は人間で娘はキューピットだそれを知ってもお前はこやつを愛せるのか当然だよだってもうずっと昔から俺は彼女を天使だって思ってたんだから After shutting that, Gil unlocks his smartphone and shows his photo folder to dad. What does that mean? 見てくださいこの彼女の天使っぷりを What kind of pictures did he take? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> This would be a funny thumbnail. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Angel, oh my god, that's what he meant. <laughs> Secret snapshots. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. There were countless photos of me sleeping, eating, and smiling. Gil, you were secretly taking all of these pictures of me? Tosatsu! Ma, 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 人間の世界を知らない彼女の面倒を見られるのが俺の生きがいだった彼女が困らないように何でもしてあげるのが幸せだった一人で食事をとる時だって彼女の好物ばかり食べてた本だって彼女の好きな本ばかり読んでた彼女がいない時は苦しくてずっとこの写真を見たり彼女がくれた消しゴムを見たりして励まされてた。Oh、my goodness, this is why he has strange dreams. なんなら、イマジナリー彼女を作って毎日会話だってしてた。彼女と再会する時の妄想もしてた。Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'd feel about this. 俺の時間は全部彼女に捧げてたんだ。俺の夢なんかどうでもよかった。尽くすのが俺の幸福だったんだ。彼女に自分の夢を追ってほしいって言われて。最近はちゃんと自分で考えるようにしてたけどそれも彼女がそばにいなきゃ意味はないんだリネット君がいなければ生きてたって意味がない人間かどうかなんてどうでもいいんだ<笑> Oh kill Oh my goodness there's another one <laughs> This is so strange His powerful emotional words made my heart leap. That has a slightly disgusted expression on his face, but I felt so elated to hear him speak of me. So I know, like, okay, as a mother, <laughs> if anyone said this about my child, I'd feel the same way about Mars. I'd be like, you are a weird, perverted stalker and you need to leave right now. <laughs> I have a 16 year old, so yeah, I could. No, <laughs> this wouldn't be happening. <laughs> They say that love doesn't discriminate, which is true. Even though Gil's is fixated to an unnerving extent, I'm still happy. 
俺の気持ちが変わることなんてありません一生をかけて死ぬまでいや死んでも俺は彼女を愛している<笑>だからお父さん娘さんをくださいあ<笑> She's like what? Marriage? <笑><笑>お前が真にキューピットを愛しているというならば戦い奪ってみせろそれが神々のやり方だ Defeat me Oh my goodness Dad swings his axe in a sweeping arc that dash destroyed all of the pillars nearby You're going to ruin your home He's just that intensely strong. The rage of the god of war simply cannot be quelled by a human from below. No, but I'm sure Venus will come in any moment now. I understand. I'm not going to fight with my father's father, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to show him back to his father. No, Gil. He'll really kill you. He's pretty confident for a human. Gil laughs briefly but leaps back into the car that's stuck in the side of the advent tree. You gonna run him over with a car? Hmm! I'm going to die. The human way. Bumble Pig! Go! Gil slaps his finger into the button hard, and the next instant something amazing happens. The car began to transform before our eyes. Oh my goodness, he's turning into a transformer. He's gonna fight man to man to machine. <laughs> Or a god to machine, I guess. Oh my goodness. This, oh. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have no words for this game. This game has gone beyond what I, I could even imagine happening. In a game. Even after reading like Radiant Tell, where there's lots of fantasy involved and dragons, like this takes the cake. 100%. The tires moved into the side and a metal rod starts to extend out of the chassis. The doors to the car open and suddenly arms pop out of it. It looked like some sort of demonic metal god, but actually, I've seen this before. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, and it has a pig face and a tail. It has a tail. <laughs> Is this a transfer car? That's one of Gil's favorite Silly Wood series. He's always loved it because of the transforming cars. Transfer cars, go! <laughs> I've only seen this in the movies, but truth is stranger than fiction. The car is transforming right before my very eyes. Mm -hmm. He thinks it's a trick. Those sly human tricks. 文明の力人間が考えたロボットってやつだよ Wicked ingenuity ハ<笑>面白いロボットとやらがどこまで神に通用するか試してやる Well at least he knows it's a robot since he said life form 望むところだ Gil's car or I mean Gil's robot strikes a pose Gil's robot and my towering father both lunge forward at the same time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What the heck? I don't even know.
The slam of the impact created a massive shockwave that nearly blew me away. I threw my hands in front of my face. Yet neither Gil nor Dad fell. <laughs> you thought that you might have to fight a god? Really? Wait, Gil knew this would happen? What does that mean? I wanted to chide him for watching too many movies, but honestly, Gil had a point in this very specific case. The robot's fist and the war god's fist collided. A shockwave rippled from the impact, making the entire atmosphere shudder and shake. Um, why hasn't Lord Jupiter showed up yet? If a human stepped into my realm, I would notice, and I'd be there confronting him immediately. <laughs> Yo unleashes twin punches from both arms, and Dad received them with no damage. Dad grabs onto the robot's fist and delivers the downward strike. Dad was preparing to stop Wingo's robot. The girl quickly recovers and delivers the uppercut to Dad's shin. そんなの本当の守るってことじゃない。俺だって昔はそう思ってた。あの子を守りたくて危険から遠ざけたくて、あの子の気持ちを考えたこともなかった。愛情を押し付けて気づいてもらえないことを嘆いて、あの子自身を
Stop it, Dad. I want to spend my life with him, and don't you dare hurt him. I had Gil closer to me and plead to Dad to understand. Gil was breaking out in a cold sweat and was still on his knees. Dad hovered above us, glaring down at us both. Oi, Ningen. いったいどうやってここまで登ってきた。この車でまっすぐ来たんです。一気に行動上昇させれば人間など具合が悪くなるに決まっているだろう。そんなことも分からなかったのか。分かってましたよ。でも俺はもう。<笑> どうまりしたくなかったんだ。What? <笑> それでも来たというのか。はい。これ以上遅くなったら彼女を失うんじゃないかって怖かったから。うん。その体で私と張り合ったというのか。しかもこの軍神マーズを一度でも転ばせるとはな。Dad extends a hand out and touches Gil's robot. That size his voice sounding quite impressed. For some reason his expression turns sad, yet there's kindness in his eyes. You mean after all that ranting, he's just going to have a change of heart? <laughs> Dad mumbled those thoughts to himself. For the first time since my return, he laughed. Dad. <laughs> だから、わしはお前の父親になった覚えはない。だ、そうじゃ。うん。それに喜んでばかりでもいられんぞ。I <笑> キューピットは恋を司るかみだからな。人間と本気で恋をすれば人間になってしまう。それでもいいと言えるか。In the other route, she would have already lost her godliness. There was no reason for me to hesitate. With all my heart, yes. I lived in Celestia for such a long time. I've never counted the years, but I'm sure it's been long enough for multiple of nations to rise and fall. But I only ever felt alive when I went to the human realm for the first time. No, not just the human realm. I only felt that way when I was by Gil's side. I want to spend my life with Gil. I don't care about my godhood. Gil Lovecraft. It's like he's marrying them right here. Yes. If you can see her, do you take this woman to be your wife? きっとこの手で守りきってみせます。彼女のこと、彼女の心。もろい人間が一丁前のことを言う。You know, I think I would have much rather had Venus or Jupiter get involved with this, but whatever. You can have a change of hearts, fine. Then he's a sigh and looks at both Gil and I. Daga, that's what I think is the best
Dad turns away from us. I thought I saw his shoulders shudder a little. He's crying. In that moment, I heard light footsteps come running towards us. It's the goddess of beauty, Venus, my mother. Oh, here she is. Bob. あら、何か派手にやってると思ったら娘を人間の男の子に取られちゃったのね。取られたわけではない。俺ってやっただけだ。I <笑> あら、あの車ったら面白い魂が宿ってるみたい。いろんな運が重なるものね。She Mom waves at us airily with one hand and locks arms with Dad. さあ、行きましょう。娘が嫁ぐとき、親は一緒にお酒でも飲んで楽しくやるものよ。うう、キュッと。Oh my goodness. My once frightening dad is sobbing openly in front of mom. Even though we're not family by blood, they really do love me as if I was their own daughter. Gods and humans are quite similar. We have things more precious than blood relations. <laughs> Jupiter is not going to say anything about a human being here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming to my rescue, Gil. <laughs> We pressed our foreheads together as we continued sitting, then we gently pecked a kiss on each other's lips. I felt my cupid's bow necklace fall from my neck. It held my leaden arrow and bow. This was the proof of my godhood. I'm sure this only came off because I fell in love with a human. I suppose this is goodbye to my entire life here. I take a deep breath of Celestia air and take Gil's hand. Then we get into the car. This extremely unique car was born from Gil's dreams and wishes. And your arrow. <laughs> together we ride back to the place where we belong together. I guess... I guess Jupiter will come in a later route. That he was going to investigate uh, Cupid's power of returning, but then we never saw him again. So they we meander through the sky. I wonder what people saw below. Maybe they're spreading rumors of a UFO sighting as we head back towards the human realm. Finally, we return home. Tadaima. We're home. I wonder if Clarice is here. I look around and open my eyes wide. Everything's a mess. <laughs> I know, he was looking for you. I wonder if we were the victims of a burglar. I turned around to Gil, who had a guilty look on his face. Also, <laughs> yes, let's find Clarice and talk about Clarice. That's why. ほら、君がいなくなった日に君を探すために手がかりがないか全部ひっくり返してそのままにしちゃってたんだったごめん、すぐに片付けるから君は休んでて<笑> I'll help. In fact, I want to help. I smile agreeably at Gil and he blushes in return. This time, he didn't push back. Super returns my smile with his own and nods. ありがとう。yeah. Together, I love the sound of that three-syllable word. It's important to take care and give care. I don't want to be overly pampered and constantly protected, though. That's why I'm so glad to be able to help go clean. Hmm, this goes here and that thing goes there. To help clean up the room, one item at a time with Gil. As we work, I notice some documents I don't recognize. 
What are these? I flipped through and skimmed the documents just to make sure they weren't trash. I realized that it was Gil's work stuff. Are you going to find the um the love letter book too? <laughs> Gil Lovecraft, author of a soon to be published book. Is did he really go through with that? Gil, what's this? Mm -hmm. Takes a stack of papers from me and his eyes go wide. Ah, ah, yeah, so. <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. You're going to be a published writer and author? <laughs> you should still talk to her about it if she's okay to have all of those feelings published. Uh, why?君に当てて書いたラブレターをまとめて書籍化しないかって誘われてるんだ。<笑> Nope. いや、待って。なんかその凄い力作の手紙。うっすら見覚えがあるような。Really? I win our bet because that letter has got to be from Gil. え?ギルのだったの? Wait, really? Gil's words in my conversation with Claire shocked my memory. I remembered one possibility. Back in college, I often lent my textbooks out to Clarice. She often went out late, so she didn't come back home to get her own books. There were also loads of times that I had lent them to Gil, who quickly passed them back to Clarice. In other words, wait, you said that the letter was in a textbook? Professor O'Connor's romantic psych textbook. You stuck it in that? Hmm. I that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I do. In fact, I frequently lent that textbook to Claris. Hey? <laughs> I often lent that textbook to both of them, actually. Gil always said that he wanted to read it, and Claris needed it for supplemental exams. Once she even mentioned a letter with no cinder in her bag. She claimed it was from a cutie's, a cutie's diner customer, so she just tossed it. But she also said it was similar to your style. Hesitantly, I showed Gil the picture I took of his love letter. He slapped his hand to his forehead and heaved a sigh. So you kotoka. Yep, if only you would have told her to her face. So da yo na. Kimi ga ore no tegami o mushi suru nante koto suru wake nai to omotte tan da yo. Ore no tegami somo somo. How many letters did you write? <laughs> Unfortunately, that seemed to be the case. For a moment, we stared at each other, then we burst out laughing. Somehow, we always end up taking the long way around when it comes to getting to the point. I looked directly into Gil's eyes. Um, the choice is I would want to read that, so there's no more bad ends. Ugh. We we're gonna say this time I'd like you to deliver this letter to me directly. 
Gail, can you deliver your love letter to me directly this time? Gail nods and picks up a box from the corner of the room. Good luck with that. You're going to be there all week. <laughs> this is it. Take the lid off the box. Inside are dozens of letters that stacks up, stacked up in piles. Oh my goodness. Aww. That's adorable. Look at them. <laughs> so cute. Love letter for you. Okay. I'm like, what does that say? Wow, there's so many. All of these are for me. Uh, mm. Okay, I think this is going to lead up to um, when she's asked to read them directly. So I want to read that love letter. I'd like to know what's in the love letter. Can you read it to me? Aww. I thought he'd be too embarrassed to read it. It can't be any more embarrassing than what you told Mars, so... I promise I won't laugh. After all, you wrote the letters thinking of me, didn't you? I tilt my head as if asking a question. Gil blushes. <laughs> Gil then goes to pick up a box from the corner of the room, looking quite sheepish. I take the lid of the box off. Inside are dozens of letters stacked up in piles. Uh, mm. That's amazing. We're just going to skip to this part. <laughs> I picked up one of the letters and opened the envelope. Inside was Gil's distinct handwriting and his love towards me. I love you. I want to be with you. You have my heart. I want to protect you. I want to care for your every need. You're the only one for me. I can hear Gil's voice as I take in those words. Gil uses a multitude of phrases to express his love for me and to me. At times he sounds like a poet composing a sonnet. Then he's straightforward and direct. Other times he uses metaphors. Gil had an infinite amount of words for an infinite amount of feelings. The more I read, the more I could tell he treasures me. Those words were a drop in the bucket, and if what Gil said to me was a drop, then this was a flood of love. <laughs> Truly, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of Gil's love. Beneath the surface was even more than I could see. The warmth of his love enveloped me, and I felt so happy that I could cry. I almost did. And I've never witnessed such dedicated, true love. I didn't know that love could be so earnest and pure either. Gil, the love on Parasite. Gil, the man who was driven by his nearly infinite love to chase me all the way to Celestia. But his love is what made me so happy. You're just now thinking about that? <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm just so happy. My tears plop down to the letter. Gil, I love you. I love you so much, and you gave me so much love in return, even though I never noticed. In the letter Gil wrote, even if you never notice my feelings, I'll always love you. That made the tears flow faster. Thank you for always loving me, no matter what, Gil. I'm sorry I didn't know how you felt about me. Tineto. Gil reaches out to me and cautiously wraps his arms around me in a gentle embrace. Where his hands touched, I felt warm. It was the warmth of my love towards the gill burning inside me. I look up to see Gil's gentle gaze. His eyes radiate kindness and affection. He's got a fixated gaze that walks the fine line between love and lunacy. <laughs> 
I used to be intimidated by how he looked at me. I felt a little like prey, but now there's <laughs> but now there's nowhere else I'd rather be. That's funny. Does it did it Alan give you like the the predatorial gaze too? <laughs> like in the common route. Gil, I want you to use these for your book, that everyone can see how much love you have for me. こんなものがなくても俺の愛は変わらないよ。でも君がそう言ってくれるなら出してみようかな。君に捧げるためにほかの男が君に近寄らないようにさ。Bill smiles and bares his teeth in a huge grin. Once again, he is walking that fine line between love and lunacy. Yeah, I love Gil so much that I feel like I'm walking the same line with him. I smile in return. Gil, you'll always have eyes for me. Gil's warm breath goes over my lips that leads us to kissing again. I wouldn't say no to being overwhelmed with love. We kiss while he runs a finger through my hair. Bill's kind eyes and earnest words haven't changed yet, even though he knows I'm Cuban. His eyes are as honest as when he had that blue cheese flavored kiss. No matter what happens between us, Gil continues to love me ceaselessly. I closed my eyes and felt love envelop me. Little by little, our kisses became deeper and more passionate. I wrapped my arms around Gil's neck. I wanted to demonstrate that my love for him could be just as strong as his, as his own. I know what's going to happen in the rest of this route. I am so curious. これで私が恋のキューピットになっちゃった。でも本当大変だったわ。あの子ったら全然恋しないんだもん。でもようやくくっついてよかった。これで私の役目は終わりね。バイバイ。ギル。リネット。お邪魔虫みたいだし、私は帰るね。いつまでも幸せでね。Not <笑> flying back somewhere. Where'd she go? I want to know. <laughs> Tell me. We're gonna see her for the rest of the route now, probably. The day after returning from Celestia. I apologize for being absent without prior notice. I was prepared for the worst upon my arrival at the office. I even desperately bowed an apology to my boss. At the time I left the human realm, all I was thinking about was abandoning my life here for Celestia. And now that I have to live as a human being, I have to worry about things like my social standing and professional reputation. The first thing I offered up was an apology, but... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you Clarice did that. <laughs> also, I thought Shelby was your boss. I guess he's just the president. He won't be your boss. Huh? My boss showed me a PTO request. Indeed, it said that I was returning to my parents due to familial matters. No way, this can't be real. What the heck is going on? Who did this? Then I look at the handwriting and notice something. The letters have a slight tilt. This is definitely Clarice's writing. Come to think of it, there was a period of time where I couldn't contact Clarice. She also hasn't come home, so and she's not here. Uh, can you end my PTO request for from tomorrow? The issue with my family has been resolved, so I can return to work. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Get yelled at by Shelby. I understand. <laughs> Apparently, I had an entire month off. I was in Celestia for quite some time, leaving me with one more week. 
You get a whole week with Gil. Oh well, I've never had a day off since I started working for Cupid Corp. I was so focused on rising up the corporate ladder that I rarely took time to myself. I suppose I should just be happy for a break. Well, alright then. If you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. I politely bow again and leave my manager's desk. But what's going on here? Why would Claire's request PTO without my permission or knowledge? It feels like she knew I wouldn't be coming back home for quite some time. Claire should be here today in systems development. I'll go ask her directly. She gone. <laughs> Probably. But... No one seems to remember Claire's working here. What's happening? She got spirited away. <laughs> and no one remembers her. She's back in Celestia. I wonder who she is. For some strange reason, none of our co-workers remember Claris working here. Clarice? Who? Clarice, dear? So not Shouldn't she forget about Claris too? Even when I explain who Claris is, all I get are confused responses and empty stares. Thankfully, there's some people who do remember, but. Oh, really? Clarice? Ah, that heroic guy! Was that real? Clarice? <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know if you're going to be a good person. I don't know why you would tell someone that. But okay. Hmm. 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 It seems that Clarice had completely disappeared from Cupid Corp without a trace. The only clue left was some of these rumors about strange dreams from the male employees that remembered her. In fact, all of the female staff had forgotten Clarice completely. It's as if she was spirited away, just like how Raoul described it. So, Perhaps, perhaps Claris is some kind of god. Yeah, I know, right? Yesterday on my way home, Gil mentioned that it was Claris who taught him how to access Celestia. Normal humans would not know that kind of thing, though Claris and I have always been on the same wavelength too. Sometimes I get the feeling that Claris can see Chi too, even though she's he's supposed to be invisible to humans. Then there were those dreams Gil had whenever Claris was home. He and all of those male employees said the same thing. <laughs> Does the god part of her make people have weird dreams? Mm, I think I might have read something about a phenomenon like this before. Whether god or fairy or whatever, Claris probably wasn't human either. Now that I think of it... I should ask Auntie about this. I know I can't return to Celestia, but if I use my phone to contact her... In that moment, I reached for my necklace, but suddenly remembered that it was gone. It fell off after I fell in love. Hold the phone. I completely forgot about my golden arrow. I know, and Gil didn't mention it at all about how he got there. That's right, I left the golden arrow back at the apartment when I rushed back to Celestia. I know you just grabbed the bow and left, right? I hate to think that it's gone. Even though I'm no longer a god, Dad will descend down in another rage if he finds out. Lucky me, it's my day off. I better hurry up and figure things out. I grab my bag off my desk and hurry back home. However, uh, it's not here. Not here either. You know, Gil turned the place upside down. You could ask him. He's probably at work, though. Uh, it's not here at all. I searched every nook and cranny at home, but nonetheless can't find that matchmaking arrow. What happens when a god or even a former god loses their divine artifact? I don't know what consequences I'll face. All I know is that I'll definitely get yelled at. 
Only the twelve Olympians and those above have that knowledge. The lower gods simply do as they're told. Oh gosh, what do I do? I was completely at a loss, but then I heard the front door open. Tadaima! Oh, Gil. I look at the clock and realize that it's around the time Gil would return home. I quickly run up to him to get to the bottom of things. Gil, do you know where that necklace of mine with the golden arrow on it is? You know, the one I was always wearing? My voice was thick with tears. Gil cried out in shock. Then he glanced away anxiously. <laughs> they used that little bit of a Japanese words to translate all of this. Okay. The car. Bill took me out to the car he created to bring me back to from Celestia. Bill pointed at the hood. The Cupid's bow was stuck on it like, a glue, like it was glued there. The bow. I thought you just put the arrow in it. I am so confused. I thought she took her bow with her. <laughs> and then she was given the leaden arrows up in Celestia, and then you had the golden arrow that powered the car. Whatever. I don't know. What? what? Why is it stuck in your car? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it's safe, right? Meaning it won't come off? Uh, um, Whoa, why is it honking at me? Pardon me, but the car told you that? じつはやのせいなのかよくわからないんだけどこいつたまに勝手に動くんだよカーラジオで話しかけてくる時もあるしはいいけるバックはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいは
休んでた理由を話せって言われたから愛する人を迎えに行くために車から作りましたって言ったらしばらく休めって言われちゃって。That's funny. I made a car to go I guess hearing something like that would be enough to make someone worry. Well, most people wouldn't build an entire car to go rescue their partner. And truth be told, if someone who didn't know the situation heard Gil say that, they'd probably think he was delirious. Ah, but I'm sorry. 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 うん、でもなんか手くさいよあの手紙の山見たらみんなギョッとするし急に俺のこと先生扱いしてくるしさでも同時に嬉しいんだ文章を書くのは愛を伝えるのは子供の頃から好きだったから So happy for you, Gil. He looks at me and quietly smiles, our hands touch while resting on the hood of his car. He kisses me, then the car's radios burst to life. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to、uh, poke fun at them for kissing, but no. The sound of the radio surprised us and we jumped apart. Even though we've kissed so many times, Bubble Pig's interruption made us feel so awkward for some reason. なんだよバンブルピッグ<笑>いいとこ邪魔して。How dare you, you ruined it. <笑> hey, isn't your car's voice different from the voice earlier? あ、本物のカーラジオの方か。でもラジオをつけたのはバンブルピッグだろ。Haven't you seen the movie? <笑> the car honks in agreement. I shook the car again and the radio volume increased. 次のニュースです。ラブクラフトインダストリーズ。通称 LCI 社の副社長ゲイリー・ラブクラフト氏が急遽副社長を辞任するという意向を記者会見で述べ、oh, really? Excuse me? 兄さんが副社長辞任一体何が We look at each other, Gil's phone buzzed, and his expression grew tight as he looked at the screen. Who is it? 父さんからだ。Uh-oh. I wonder if he's going to ask you to become president. Gil's hesitation about picking up the phone was obvious from his glare. But in the end, Gil did the adult thing and answered the phone. Oh, Gil, you're a good guy. Oh, my God. Gil, you're a good guy. Oh, my God. Why, what a coincidence. We heard about it just now, as a matter of fact. Oh, my God. 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 それが実はああいや電話ではなんだなお前今ロサンヨークかそうだよこれからデートに行くところデートあんたがすまないがこちらも休養だちょうど商談でロサンヨークに来ていてな話ができるとありがたいんだがデートだって言ったでしょ話聞いてた Gil responded with an irritated edge to his voice. Gil's relationship with his father is poor because he's a workaholic. That's why Gil left and might even hang up. Gil, I'll be okay. Do what you need to do. I whisper those words in his ear. Gil's lips puckered up in dissatisfaction and his irritated expression remained. <laughs> She has the whole week off. It'll be fine. Gil seems to become more childish when it comes to talking to his family. It's as if time has frozen for him. It's a once in a lifetime chance to talk things through with your father as equals. I hope you can't get through to him. You might regret leaving things as is if he doesn't take this chance to clear the air. Yet even if they finally see eye to eye, they can't make up for lost time. In a way, it's the same as Gil and I. I got it. Where are you from? Where are you from? No, you can come. Then, come. 9番街のホテルのレストランにいるそこで夕食でも食べながら話をしよう分かったでもデート中だから彼女も一緒に I'm bringing my girlfriend <laughs> The phone clicks off while Gil was still speaking How rude 
Then he turned to me with irritation flashing in his eyes. I can empathize with that. <laughs> I was much the same. I ran away from home to show up my stubborn dad. I nodded in agreement and Gil let out a soft laugh. でも君はちゃんとお父さんと話し合えた。だから俺ももう逃げない。いい加減会って話してくるよ。でもさっき父さんに言いかけたんだけどさ、君にも一緒に来てもらいたいんだ。いい。Patience, Good point. Knowing Gil's father, he might already have someone in mind for him, depending on how things go. Turns out human fathers and godly fathers are one and the same. Once they think they're right, nothing can change their minds. I hope Galen got to stay with his fiance, though. We were both still so young when we ran away from home to start our lives. But Gil and I have grown up some since then. I think we'll be okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there's no one I'd rather go with then. We're off to meet your father. That is a good stopping point. Yep, that's a good stopping point. So it's only been two sections, so I want to save the last two for the next episode. Since there was an oh, there was a CG in here. I think I'm going to still use that that crazy like um a uh, secret angel folder screenshot because that's really funny. <laughs> so, so Gil may not get any kissing CG screenshots unless there's one in his endings or something or in the next one, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> we like the crazy stuff too. Well, I'm glad I decided to read a little bit of this because I feel a lot better now. <laughs> I feel like I can uh, get through the rest of the day today. Gil's craziness cheered me up. So as always, if you liked the video, drop a thumbs up down below and or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.